Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is John of JWH Millinery and this is JWH Mix. So I hope you've all had a very good February. Cannot believe we're at the end of February pretty much already. Um, don't know where this year is going, everything's going super fast. Um, obviously it's slowed down a little bit, but we are, this is where we are here now, at the end, nearly at the end of February. And that means it's going to be springtime soon and Easter, so that's pretty good. I quite like Easter because hot cross buns and Easter eggs. But um, the spring means nice warm temperatures, nice colours, less of the wool, more of the cotton, and just it's like it's like you want to sort of like start fresh and, and try something new. So this is perfect for those of you that want to try something new. This hat isn't made from a straw as such. It's actually made from uh, a bisca, which is a Japanese wood pulp. Now, Michelle at Petersham's uh, showed me this and I was like, I must try it. Um, and it was a lot cheaper than a paracycle straw. Now, obviously paracycle straws, you know, they're beautiful and the grades and they go up and up and up and they are just wonderful to work with. But for those of you on a budget, this is pretty budget friendly. We decided to use a peach colour and just trying to trim it with um, pinks and dark plums just to, not to go too summer, still to keep that, that slightly wintry feel because we all know like springtime, even though it's supposed to be warm, not always is warm. And then we decided to finish off with some beautiful crystals. Um, I mean, I would do lots of Swarovski crystal. I mean, yeah. Um, and then just a nice, just a nice ribbon, um, just to highlight the different textures in, in, the, in the piece. And that, that's really all that we've done to it. It's very simple, very easy. And if you want to learn how to make this, keep on watching. So for this tutorial, you are going to need the following. One Visca hat flare, some spring wire, one ferrule, some grow grain ribbon for the inside of the crown, any ribbon of your choice for the outside of the crown, three to four coke feathers, one centimetre of dusky pink ostrich hurl, one centimetre of plum ostrich hurl, and some Swarovski crystals, although you can use any beads for this. The block that we've used today is the MBB, which is from Guy Moss Brown. Starting off, cover your block with cling film to protect the block and then apply a good blast of steam to the visca flare and immediately pull over the block. Try and align the centre of the flare with the centre of the block as this will give a more symmetrical look later. Pin the flare to stop it from rising and leave this to cool and dry. You could use some elastic ribbon to hold it but if you haven't got any to hand, then put the pins as close to the bottom of the block to minimise pinholes. You could use some elastic ribbon to hold it, but if you haven't got any to hand, then just put the pins as close to the bottom of the block to minimise any pinholes. We can hide the holes later with the ribbon. Once the piece has dried and cooled, place the hat onto a piece of fabric and make sure it's on a hard flat surface. And then using a steam iron, iron the brim flat, ensuring that you keep the iron moving as you're doing this. Whilst you are steaming the brim, slightly pull it away from the block, as it does have a tendency to have a small lip inwards at the bottom of the block, and this will just stop that from happening. If you don't want to ruin your iron, place a small damp, not wet, just damp, tea towel onto the brim before you steam the brim. Leave this to cool before you go on to the next step. Once you've removed the block from the hat, steam the edges of the brim and whilst it's still hot, fold over the edges round about half a centimetre. Do this all the way around. Measure the brim with some spring wire and cut with some pliers to the correct length and join this with a ferrule. Place this into the lip that you've just created and pin the lip down in a few places to secure. Then turn the hat over and steam the lip into place and this will secure the spring wire into the lip. Then using some matching thread, 
sew down the lip using some small stitches. Measure and cut your inner grow grain ribbon and pin this into place. Sew it down, hiding your stitches using matching thread, but don't worry about the outside as we'll be covering the stitches later with the ribbons. Just try to keep the stitches as close to the bottom of the crown as possible. Like inside, measure and cut your ribbons for the outside. We're using a metallic ribbon and an off cut of braid for a contrast. Drape the ribbons around the crown, ensuring your join is where you want to place the feathers and pin this into place. Then, once you've pinned it into place, stitch it down just to secure the ribbons nicely. What I would also do is place a couple of stitches around the hat so the ribbons don't rise later. You don't need to stitch all the way around, just a stitch here and there will hold that into place. To make the trim, we bundled up some peacock curl with some coke feathers. What we wanted to do was have something which complemented the peaches and the pinks, so we used some plums and browns, which we think blends quite nicely. So to do this, you need to wrap some thread around the base of the bundles to secure and add a dot of glue just to hold it all together. Then once the glue is dry, stitch them all together and wrap any excess thread around all the bundles together and glue them a little bit. You just need a tiny bit of glue to secure into place. Once these are dry, stitch into place where the ribbons join. And this is the whole point of placement earlier, is to ensure that we don't have unsightly seams everywhere. And finally, to finish, just add some Swarovski crystals over where your feathers are attached to the hat, just ensuring that you cover in all your joins, all your stitches, all your threads. You can use Swarovski crystals, you can use beads. Um, the smaller that you your beads are, the more that you're going to use. We used around uh, about 40 Swarovski crystals so in total, um, but we did use kind of very small, I think we used 3mm. Um, being uh, Swarovski crystals, that's why we used quite a few. Had you used maybe like a, a one centimeter, um, you wouldn't need to use less. Follow me on all the social media I'm on Facebook, JWH Millinery, Instagram, JWH Millinery, and also Twitter, JW underscore Millinery. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.